What's up? I'm back again. <laughs> anyway, um, you notice any difference? Um, there's 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 better lighting. Well, I'm going to stop fooling around. Uh, I'm back again. Uh, yeah. So I thought of uh, doing a video like this uh, to just show you to just show you how. I realized you guys like this kind of videos where I'm like behind a camera for some reason you just like seeing me. I don't know why. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Should I wear my headphones? Should I? Wait. Sorry, today I'm a little bit uh, disoriented. I think I should probably wear my earphones. Or not. Okay, we'll just do the video dry. I'm not gonna use this. Uh, so today I thought of doing this this video where I just show you behind the scenes. Yeah, pretty much that's it. Notice the difference. I've got better lighting right now. Some of you guys were kind of like, oh, I cannot see him. Me, yeah, now you can see me. There's better lighting. Yeah. I, Hope I'm not too dark. Where am I? Let me see. Yeah, I, do, I think I'm um, bright enough. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let me stop fooling around. So the, um, the game I'm gonna show you is uh, it, it 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 was based on World War Two. I think you guys know it. Um, if not, you can check down the link in the description when I forgot make sure you guys subscribe and yeah we'll be publishing more new games to come and I'm glad to see what you guys think about it so uh I just wanted to before that I just wanted to show you guys how I made the game from scratch all the way to finish and yeah it's not really a tutorial you might not be able to follow through I just wanted to show you a glimpse of everything and yeah so let us begin shall we Before we start, um, I'm going to be switching between because part of it was like made from this PC, then the other one was made from here, and then the other one was made on this Mac. Yeah, sorry about the messy situation over here. It's yeah, it's uh, yeah, the, the whole place is just messy. Oh yeah, I can. This this is the, the 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 whole like place. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Ah! I hope you guys enjoyed that mini tour, um, and you enjoyed my messy place. So I'm just gonna start off. Um. So as I wait for this thing to update itself, okay. I wait for this, I'm just gonna show you how I made from everything from scratch and stuff. Uh, the first thing I did was... Uh, I really can... Oh, by the way, I'm going to be using Unity in case I didn't tell you this. Uh, it's actually a cool game engine. I can just show you... Uh, the good thing is that it there, there's a free version as you can see there is a free version 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 there is a free version as you can see now yeah this is where you can get it from and yeah you can start making a game so anyway um this is how i made the game that's because, yeah so uh, oh, I made the game. Uh, 
from scratch from everything down to uh, all the integrity so uh, I made this uh, sky I took actually this is actually a real photo maybe you can tell this is actually a real photo I took it of a night sky and then added some clouds to it and, and some gloom effects just to make it bright but this is this is a real photo for sure so um the next thing that i did was yeah the next thing that i did was i had to i had to uh, create the menu let me show you the menu I can actually play this and just show you how it, it plays so that you can see. <laughs> uh, wait for it to kind of load. It takes some time. It's a huge project, that's why it takes some time to load. Uh, Oh, the background music uh, was from some of my mates, the do music production, so I got it from them, so got it from my brother. Yeah, I get a lot of this, so it's, it's not entirely me who made the game, the other, the other factors. Yeah. So when you press start, this is what you first see. Um, it renders a video at the back of just some gameplay to just entertain you. You've got your simple menu here. Can you just enlarge it to show you? You've got a title and menu. And uh, when you click on this button, something happens. The controls, it just shows you the controls. Um, if you have the Ultimate Edition, you get the Challenges Pack. Uh, the basic one just comes with the campaign and the story itself alone but uh, this is the paint pack is how I made the menu and yeah just a simple menu uh, I can expand to show you the menu the menu oh, oh sorry it's here so if I can disable this for a second and I can show you the menu. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Um I just call I call the video from source code to just tell it when hey when the game opens run this code. Uh I can just show you actually the entire source code and you, because well, most of you guys like to see my code I don't like the best code but it's, it's efficient enough mm -hmm. yeah, can open it. there you go so um I've not only used Unity there's also some there's also uh there's also a uh, program that handles the backend it's called Visual Studio um, <laughs> yeah so this is what runs the entire code for the menu like whatever you're seeing that's happening in the menu when you click on something an event happens this is this is what runs the menu I can explain to you some things for sure um, like for example, a class holds the entire thing. That's why you've got this bracket and this bracket below it. So that's what a class is. It just holds everything. And then every single specific button has its own code. Like quit has its own code right here. Um, you've got one for the challenges that handles its own code. You've got one for the start. And then you've got one for the controls. You've got each and every single thing. You've got escape, the escape button. Every single thing has its own code that I show you. Okay. Now that that was it for the menu. I just added buttons and code to say and click on this, open this. So that's it for the menu. Um 
Anyway, um, the next thing was uh, I can show you the first part, which was it was cutscene. And yeah, let me disable this. Ah, we can disable this right now. We will disable that. And now we can have the image back. So, this is what happens when you and you open the game you click on start the story because that one is the one that will come with every like standard edition stuff like that so you when you start off the game this is how it starts it starts by explaining the story as the game is loading in the background as you can see below them as the game is loading in the background it's explaining to you why you're in this circumstance and stuff like that what happened to you just some random facts yeah um it's it's first person it's a first person game i forgot to mention so you're playing in your eyes so the most you are seeing normally is your hands and the surrounding. You never get to see your entire body. Yeah, that's what I should mention. You can't see your entire body. So um, as we wait for this to load, uh, you, you can ask me a question. Oh wait. <laughs> You can't respond to me. <laughs> you can ask me a question in um, the comments. So I'm gonna skip this because it takes a bit of time. The story, the storyline takes a bit of time to explain everything. You can play it uh, later, and it will be in the description. And make sure you subscribe. Yes. So. Um, the next cutscene is now an actual game engine footage so as you can see this now it changes from real life footage to uh, the actual footage in the game so now we can go to the actual cutscene and uh, show you how I made everything um, I think it's here I'm not gonna save that for now Yeah. Yeah. So the same sky that I used in the menu is here. Okay, let me just enlarge and I'll show you everything. So you've got you've got the one of uh, the aircrafts. I don't think that's the main one. I can show the main one. Okay. You just uh, sorry guys. Right. I think it's oh <laughs> I found it. So this is um, you're basically like a crew of um, Americans because where are you playing like americans uh so you're basically air force pilots and uh you are going to attack normandy normand which is in german so you're flying over the pacific ocean right here and as you can see this is the ocean like a small island there i just put that for fun i don't know if it's an actual island in the pacific ocean or looks like that <laughs> um then you can notice the difference between your enemy planes right here they've got 
the axis symbol and then oh for well, those guys are not understanding um in the world war ii there was axis and there was allies the allies are the americans and what not in the axis were like the germans and italians and stuff so you can see the difference they are marked by a red dot and then these guys are marked by a um, yeah the us symbol so over here this is how i made the cutscene uh there's this main camera here it's it's a virtual camera it's not really an actual camera it's basically uh i basically hard code let me show this source code for it right here so this code right here controls the plane some of the planes and some of the um, and the camera right where is the camera this camera right here to record or most of the view and if i show you this in real time you can actually see it moving although it moves so fast that you might not be able to catch it and so it's recording every single possible angle that we can like get of um, the entire surrounding so as you can see there's also i just animated the water to there's an there's a way you can animate the water to look like it's waving so yeah stuff like that uh, i don't know if you can catch the camera see so yeah you can see it moving it's trying to capture every single moment of the game so that you can is that it can show from every single possible angle of the plains the water the island is island <laughs> and everything uh, and everything so that you, know, you can see everything and then there's a background to just explain what's happening and stuff like that so that's it for the first cutscene and then now we move to yeah actual gameplay a few days were waiting for that so oh there we go so for the actual gameplay now you're actually inside the plane and you're actually inside of it as you can see so this is how i made it so in the plane i had to simulate everything i had to simulate our uh, flight system as you can see there are a lot of things related to flight with velocity with um with autopilot this this uh, pitch roll and your and all this is under a long line of code um there's a lot of maths happening in here so explaining it might take pretty long time although if you want if you guys want me to explain it uh make sure you let me know i can explain it to you guys yeah. um the next part that i did after the flight system i had to make sure that um, was another, this one is for the collision like when you collide with something it, it's supposed to handle that kind of physics when you hit something that's that and then there's uh, the audio for the aircraft because it's got to have some sound uh, and then there is uh, there's also some scripts that uh, control uh, for, for the player to control the plane and stuff like that oh, pretty much this is how the first scene plays Oh, as, as I told you, I'm not the best program. You can see below here, we've got a big red arrow. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. So as you can see, you can control the plane with the keyboard and mouse. Or pad if you have, yeah, it does support controllers. Like this one here. Um, oh, that must fall. <laughs> And I was lost control of the plane. So as you can see, 
uh, this this is how the controls work you can send you can descend and uh, you, this is you and what, when I was explaining about first person this is you you can actually see yourself flying through the environment and as you can see so um, the, the story behind this is that you're with your mates all of a sudden you get lost and your aircraft gets an, a problem and now you have to land but then before you land there's a twist you get you crash into an enemy plane and you end up landing in the pacific and through that you all of a sudden end up being captured by the enemies and they put you in like this gulag type of prison or something that's the storyline behind the, the game so just before you near you you're nearing to <laughs> to the I don't know, what is that thing called again tell me what that oh we've been hit just before you end up to the airship air carrier that's the word i'm looking for you get hit and um you suddenly end up landing them and they end up catching you i'm not going to play the rest because i want you guys to play it um now the next part is you actually can see your hands now i think it was here yeah. so when you end up being captured you're in this gulag prison and you end up getting a weapon goodness how you ended up getting a weapon i don't even know how so um you end up getting a weapon <laughs> and Okay, so this is like the entire scene. Oh, oh. oh this is the wrong one. <laughs> That's the wrong scene. I haven't opened this project now. Now I spare me in the comments. I just forgot. Okay. Eh, uh, there we go. Oh, there we go. So, in this scene. This is kind of like the bunker, the entire prison. I had to model detail by detail. As you can see, there's a lot of detail. There's a lot of detail. There are, there are walls, and fans, and doors, stuff like that. There's lights, and all this. All this is just part of like the game engine. From here, as you can tell, you can see things. You can pretty much see everything. Um, our game engine is responsible for a lot of things. You can see, for example, there's some sparks there. There's, you can turn on and off lights. For example, see, you can turn on and off. Everything is controlled from this thing called the hierarchy. That's why I control it. It's like it's like a master. Think of it like uh, this central point. So um, here you end up getting a weapon, and you can see your hands. You can see through the player. He's holding the weapon. And basically, your target here is to uh, find a way out. <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna wait for this to load. So before it begins, it explains to you. How you ended up here? How, what happened? And so yeah, pretty much that's it. So I'm gonna play part of it. Let me show you. Oh, the exit. Oh, it is. So you find some enemies, and you shoot them, and then you're trying to find a way out. And as you you can find some things to collect like bullets and stuff I can just shoot here so um, let me explain some few stuff that happened now uh, so as you can see 
there is a lot of stuff going on here so i'll explain some stuff mm, we can go let's go to the enemies and i can explain them now so as you can see enemies are actually models and they have they they have like ai artificial intelligence that tells them what to do when you see a player so i can go to the ai and i can show you so all this is like well the ai and stuff so i can this is responsible for like when it sees a player as you can see here it starts to fire at you and when it fires at you it takes out life oh here it is it takes out life and when it takes out life, to, life out of you and it reaches zero you end up dying that's pretty much how it works so animation so there's um so of course you can't just rely on code there's got to be animation because now it's it's, a, it's an actual it's a representation of a human being I would say, yeah, I would say that, I would say that. It's a representation of a human being, so. Uh, there's some, there's some animation here. For example, you can play this animation, and as you can see, he now goes into like a stance where he's holding the gun. If I stop it, it just turns to normal. I can actually show you some there's some of the animations that I had made. Why is it in this tab? <laughs> I think it was here. Mm. Or was it in the soul? I haven't opened this project in a while, so it's so spam me. Mm. I can actually search it. Okay, I think I can drag this. So as you can see, there's a model. Oh, there's a model right here that can do stuff. Uh, let me give you an example. Uh, let me see. Reload. Yeah, run. Run is like a good animation to show you. As you can see. And all this, and uh, there's uh, something, there's something good to tell you. All this is controlled by just bones, really. See, every single bone is being moved piece by piece by piece until the entire animation happens. So that's how I made the animation. Yeah, it's uh, it it takes some time, but. Uh, you eventually get to do it because you've got to move bone by bone yeah this is actually what makes games take time before they are like released and you can see there's a shooting animation now it just you know shoots and as you can see just shoots yeah so if you much that that's how the game is made um yeah, I can also show you something else about this. There's also this uh this controls the player how he shoots, how he jumps, how he moves around, just the entire physics for the player and also his animation. So the rest is pretty much the same recycled, just that it is uh, in a different form, there are different sets of difficulties. This is how I would make the entire game. Now, I think I can show you the full product. I don't even have a recording screen. Yeah, this is where the the full the full game was uh, in, made in pieces here, just like I'd explained before. Now, 
and export it to the full volume now i think i can show you the full volume apologies for not having uh on screen recording software there go i can show you how so this is what the final product looked like after i would, was finished after i exported it here this is what it looks like really um as you can see this is what the full product looks like um, I was telling you this uh, this is the standard edition and then there's the Airboss one which you have to pay to get this challenges pack that you can't get with the standard version so hope you guys get the full thing that you can experience the full thing anyway I can load something to just show you how it actually plays on an actual machine instead of the game engine as you can see this is how it plays i'm controlling with the um, mouse and also a keyboard too as you can see so yeah pretty much that's how it was made i hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> yeah that's pretty much how it was made um yeah that's how i pretty much made everything to be what it is um, now that I am done with that I can I can just share with you like just some stuff about uh, making games this is a fun process that's what I can tell you um, you're gonna enjoy it if if you like playing games that is yeah, I, I, I do play games in my downtime. Like, um, say I play a lot of Call of Duty, FIFA. Uh, yeah, and uh, most some of the and uh, what other advice would give? Oh yeah, if you like making games, watch a lot of movies. Like, definitely help a lot in that sector. Yeah, some some of the games I've made kind of. I got the idea from a movie. Um, I, I think about it in the shower, even in the toilet, even in my sleep. I've ever dreamt about a concept of a game. Yeah, that's that's how I actually uh, make it. So, um, people, uh, this is where you can like, get. All my games. It's from uh, Game Jolt. Um, is this one that's in the Play Store, but it's still being maybe it's still being reviewed. <laughs> no, I don't know what Google plans with it. Yeah, it's still being reviewed. <laughs> they really don't want me to to earn money, don't they? So, uh, yeah. Now um, this is where you can get all my games. It's saying your games because I'm logged in as me as well. It's not really me. It's it's the studio. Um, this is where you can get all the games. And downloading it is just simple. You just come below here, download. Um, if you want to purchase a game. You just click the buy button and yeah uh, most of them are free except maybe um, the ultimate edition for this one but the standard one is free uh, this and this is a hundred games um, I don't know why I uploaded them here uh, but so um, there's a new update all my hundred games are going to move to the play store and then the PC and the Mac games are going to stay here. So, yeah, that's the update. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I'm finished now. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.
hope maybe you learned something even though I perused through everything like I was I was flying through stuff uh, I'm going to put like some or what what do you call them again uh, maybe maybe some some timelines so that you can see uh, what is what so that if you want to watch a specific part you can just skip to that part yeah um, Uh, it also, this industry also kind of has its ups and downs. And that days where you you're going to have creative blocks, burnouts, stuff like that happens. But you, you just get rid of them. Yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I was always asked what what was is that and not good right there. This is sometimes where I write all my crazy ideas. So. Yeah, and I can't really rub it because if it was written, it would come on into mark. So I just like <laughs> overlap or bit overlap on it until maybe when the board becomes maybe one uniform color, and then I'm gonna use the next color, and then boom. Yeah, um, and I realized something really. I've always worn this sweater when I'm doing all my videos. Then I'm gonna change that next time. Yeah. I'm gonna change that next time. Mm. Yeah, um, I think the Android game might be out this Friday. Depending on what you know, what what Google um, decides, you know, I've been I've been a bit sad because um, there's this article that said that uh, reviews are taking longer than expected. Of the reason why they have to review is because uh, some guys have been posting some applications and that promote sexual abuse and child harassment, and they've been promoting uh, weird acts like um, like self harm. And I'm like, why would you make such apps? So now Google has to be strict, and yeah, and there's. The unfortunate thing is that Google is like a monopoly in this business. They're like, how do you say it? They're like the, they're like the, what would I say? The kings. So, um, every single, there's no other place you can publish apart from the Play Store when it comes to Android. So. They like to act like a monopoly and they detect they de dictate a lot of stuff to you and they are like they're usually like you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do this, you can't do that and the whole situation is just pretty Yeah so we, we as developers, we usually like on our on our knees for them because if you do something wrong, and you get banned from developing on the Play Store, it it could be career ending because you can imagine all this working for all this. There's a time I actually almost um I got this one up of mine that got suspended because of an image that had a copyright. And my old, and I almost lost like my developer account. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> and then uh, I've had funny stories. There was a time when I, I was trying to create a second developer account, but then they banned me <laughs> because they thought they banned me for impersonating. And then I was like, how can I impersonate myself? So, they thought I was like a catfish because there was already a retech and now I'm creating another retech so they thought no, so it was a catfish so yeah that, that's 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 the unfortunate thing you have to do what they say because and I wish there's like a competition so that they can actually learn 
they can actually like be more favorable because they know okay we've got competition here so yeah yep, so um that is the reality that we face those are the small ups and down. you can see how long they've taken before they review because I think it's a not for person who has got to go through the stuff or maybe eh, I, sometimes it's an actual person or sometimes it's, it's kind of like automated pretty much so yeah pretty much that's the art what we go to <laughs> uh, yeah uh, I think I'm done with my fumbling yeah I think I'm done see what else oh yeah the I have um, I've spent like a lot of time here so um, I'm going to release uh, that one I released more content for Momo the Uprising, so you can go check it out. And uh, then I'm going to release then that Android game when it gets approved. So, so and then after that, I think I might, might take a break, maybe do videos like this. And then, you know, it's so, it's so fun and so, it's so relieving. Like, there's no pressure, <laughs> you know, when you're making games, there's a lot of pressure because but you're making games so um anyway that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed my rambling and uh my my mini tutorial i don't even know if it was a tutorial uh take care guys you know i'll probably see you in like the next one yeah i'll be doing i can even be doing weekly i wouldn't mind this this is so far. Yeah, make sure you subscribe. Mm, I might do tutorials on Unity just to show you like in depth. Because this wasn't in depth, this was just like just an, like an intro. Yeah, intro. So uh I hope you guys uh, have a nice time. Please stay safe. Wash your freaking hands and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.